Hey guys, it's Nicola. So we'll be doing your reading for April the 16th. Yeah, April the 16th through the 22nd of 2018. You guys have not subscribed to my channel. There's a little red button in this corner over here and I hope I'm pointing to it right. Hit that red button and make sure you hit that notification on the side too so you can get notified when I do my reads. I do live reads every day and I do live question and answer reads every Sunday. So you guys really want to hit that notification bar over there or that notification bell over there whatever it is hit it also if you guys would like to book a read with me you can do so on my website www.intimatewisdom.net if you guys would like to book a phone read or a live video read you can do that in the book now section if you would like to purchase the 25 dollar 30 minute video you can do that in the shop section if you guys want instant access to me type in www.instantgo.com slash intimate wisdom to get to me for my iphone ios users you can also download that on your app store guys enjoy your is this nicola so we'll be doing this read for april the 16th through the 22nd what messages do we have for aquarius april 16th through the 22nd aquarius april 16th through the 22nd what messages do we have for aquarius april 16th mm. The 22nd Aquarius April 16th to the 22nd some of you guys are really worried about something Okay, some of you guys are really, 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 really guarded within the situation. This could be to a new situation. Someone new that could have stirred some type of romantic feelings. This person could... Now, we got the Queen of Wands under here. So, this could represent someone who has kind of a fiery or passionate nature. And with this Page of Cups, this does talk about someone new entering your life or someone new stirring some type of feelings. This Knight of Pentacles, this represents someone budging. I mean, not budging. Someone in a slow-moving type of energy. This can be you afraid to take a, a step forward with the Seven of Pentacles. This represents being at a standstill. Maybe you're afraid to take a step forward due to something you found out or some truths that you found out. This can also be... Um, Due to some challenging information. So this may be why you're at a standstill. You may be being very guarded. Okay, if this is a Taurus, and I kind of think this is what is going on. You're guarded to, with a Taurus. And you're needing to choose whether or not you want to exert your energy into that situation or not. What other messages do we have for Aquarius? April 16th. Ooh. Through the 22nd. Aquarius. April 16th. Through the 22nd, Aquarius, April 16th, through the 22nd, We got the emperor card under here this could be dealing with an aries and this can be dealing with legal issues i kind of think this is about a business or some type of structure um with the emperor emperor card this is about setting some type of structure setting some type of um boundaries for some of you guys this is like a career or this is something new that you want to start in with this ace of pentacles new foundations maybe you're needing to set some structure okay set some structure to a situation this nine of wands this does represent not giving up protecting that which you have created fighting through your your issues fighting through your scars your wounds okay the judgment card you're getting the second chance at something maybe at an opportunity you feel like you missed okay this is you getting a second chance with the six of wands this does represent victory within a second situation there could have been a woman on your mind or this can be you needing to cut out that which no longer serves you and weigh your options i can't think this is most definitely what this is weigh your options cut out that which no longer serves you because you're given a second chance as something aquarius and then whatever this chance is you'll be victorious in it okay what other messages do we have for aquarius april 16th through the 22nd aquarius through the 22nd. Aquarius. The 16th. The 22nd.
too. So we got the High Priestess as the underlying energy, and she's in reverse. So this does represent some secrets. Um, this represents some unknown. Maybe you're worried about something or you're wondering about something. With the Page of Cups, you could be wondering about this new relationship or this new person that's coming in. There's something changing, and maybe you're needing to review your motives as to why it's changing or why this, situ this person is changing some situation or some dynamic of your life. What are your motives in this situation? Are you truly wanting to be with this person? Or are you wanting this person to change some dynamics or something? With the chariot card, this can be focusing. Maybe you're just needing to focus more. Embrace whatever changes that have happened, especially if this is a changes within a, a household or a situation. Could be dealing with a cancer. But embrace whatever changes that have happened. Follow your intuition because a lot of these cards have to do with following your intuition. Really respecting that which you have been given, your gifts, okay? With the Ten of Swords, this is about embracing those changes, understanding that things will get better, focusing on whatever you need to focus on, okay? Bringing things together. This could also be bringing in um, some type of project or something that you plan, bringing it together. All right, so, and I don't know, yeah, that's what's going on. Okay, so let's see what else we got for Aquarius. I have enough to just do it for Aquarius. April, ooh. Okay. So we had a whole message that just popped out. Okay, so this has something to do with a relationship or some connection that you feel like you have made. For some of you guys, I don't know if... I think this may, may be a connection that's being offered to you, okay? With the Two of Cups and the Fool card, and the Fool card, this can be a connection that could be offered to you. And maybe you're not seeing the positive of the situation. You're not seeing um, the love here because we got these two cups right here that are upright. All these in the back have been broken, damaged, and a bruise, which means why is this Three of Swords here? There's some healing that needs to take place. Some of you guys are being presented with a new opportunity in love, but you're not seeing it. You're not focusing on this opportunity, okay? With the Two of Swords, you're not seeing it. You're not focusing on this opportunity. This talks about opening your eyes. You may be in a state of stagnation or being blindfolded, not really seeing the light. Okay, with this hermit card, this is someone that needs to see the light. Leave whatever baggage you need to leave behind. Heal past those hurts and see what's in front of you. You guys are being offered a very, very big opportunity within love if you want it. Take it if you want it. Take it. Let's see what other messages we got from Aquarius. The underlying energy was the king of pentacles. So this does talk about confidently accepting opportunities that you're being offered. What are the messages that we got for April 16th to the 22nd? Messages for Aquarius. April 16th through the 22nd. Aquarius. April 16th through the 22nd. got the sun card as the underlying energy this represents happy times op optimistic plans making optimistic plans this can be finding clarity on the situation for some of you guys it's clarity with the knight of swords you could be getting some information in um and this information may be a lot for you to hold it may cause some type of stresses if this is the case choose peace within this situation okay be calm make sure you're minding your temper think things through before acting out because you don't want to act impulsively okay this is not what we want we don't want to act impulsively especially when there are emotions involved or this can have something to do with a new relationship or a new love don't be impulsive think things through and take your time okay all right so let's see what we got in love what messages do we have for queries we got the empress card i mean not the empress card I got, I don't know why, but some of you guys, they came out, so make sure that you, um, if you don't want a baby, you wrap it up. It says, go ahead and make the romantic gesture. We got to express your love. So some of you guys are needing to be more open to someone. If you're single, this can be, you just need to be open about your express, about your emotions, express how you feel in a, a situation. If you're in a relationship, your partner really wants you to go ahead and make some romantic gestures. They may feel like you're not expressing yourself the way you should. What other messages do we have for Aquarius? We got flirt. It says extend your lighthearted energy to others. Okay. We also got it is safe for you to love. It says open your heart to receive. Open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all. 
What other messages do we have for Aquarius? We got release your ex. It says the time has come for you to clear your energy. What other messages do we have for Aquarius? Honeymoon. It says enjoy the bliss of the holiday time together. Other messages for Aquarius. We got chemistry. It says there's a strong magnetic attraction here. The underlying energy is this could be the one. So you've already met the romantic partner you seek. This person is already in your life, but there's some type of energy that you're needed to clear out. Okay. So if those of you that are single, this is you need to clear out exes, stagnant energy associated with exes, connecting back with those couple exes that you know can get a shot if they want a shot, but then you need to release them because they don't deserve a shot. Um, so let them go because you've met the romantic partner you you want. Some of you guys are needing to open your energy to receive it, especially if you're single. Understand that I got two cards here about opening your energy. Okay, so this is about really um, letting in what you're trying to manifest, especially if it's within love. If you're in a relationship, this can be you need to flirt with your partner, understanding that you need to release whatever negative thoughts or negative situations y'all had. If y'all been arguing, don't hold on to that. Like, don't hold those grudges. Let it go and kind of reconnect with your mate. You guys may need to get together, go on a type of semi-vacation and kind of reconnect with each other. There's a strong magnetic attraction between you and your mate, but you need to release negative thoughts situations negative thoughts all of that so let's pick these up and let's see what messages we got what messages do we have for aquarius april 16th we got sorceress so some of you guys are manifest manifesting thing your things into your life it says you're you are a magical person who can manifest your clear intentions into reality what other messages do we have well there we go we got fertility. So this is the start of something new for some of you guys. Some of you guys are definitely starting a new situation. It says it's the perfect time for you to access new ideas, start new projects, and give birth to new conditions. We got God and children. So some of you guys, I got three cards in a row about children. This can be a pregnancy for some of you guys, okay? It says you're good at helping, counseling, and healing children. Use your skills to help children now. We also got expect the miracle. It says have faith that your prayers have been heard and are being answered. We got infinite supply, so if you're worried about your foundation, understand that you're supplied for your today and all of your tomorrows. Do not back down in any situation. Stand up for what you believe is right and be strong. It says you are stronger than you think you are and your strength assures a happy outcome. We also have prosperity here. So this is your underlying energy. This is telling you that the universe is pouring its abundance out to you. You must be open to receiving it. All these cards I got about opening your energy. Baby, if y'all don't open your energy to receive some of these blessings, I will. Okay? So that's all I got, Aquarius. Until next time, y'all have a good night.